This is a video on how to find the quest giver and the quest bring me to the head of Golifan. Uh, I'm in the marketplace by the auctioneer and we're going to head to the Restless Isles Transport, Restless Isles Transport right ahead. Uh, definitely check out the auction house on your way. Uh, I checked it out this morning and was looking specifically at augments and uh, it's kind of hit or miss. I think a lot, most of the time when I look here there's nothing and then other times there's a bunch of things listed. And I think the reason is because it's probably one person or two people cleaning out their, you know, their inventory and trying to make some space and sell and you make some platinum in the process. So uh, I'm going to focus, I mean a lot of these things are actually good, but I'm going to focus on things that might be useful in that, this life or next life. And, uh, you know, cold resistance, we get 30 from our, our, uh, oh wow, you know what? Alright, so we get 30, th or we get 30 from our clovers of spell, so we don't really need it. Tumbling hide, not that important. Haggle, you know, actually could be useful, but, you know, kind of a lot of money for what it is. Um, defense, we have a, some low level PRR items that are nice. This protection item is not bad. At level 8, we could probably stick it in our slaver's gear. We could easily make augments, and that would give us plus 3 armor class. And we already have a level 8 item that's giving us plus five natural armor bonus so that might might be enough to be impactful I mean for 9,000 I'm willing to bid on it so I'm just gonna put bid I may not win it but I'm gonna go ahead and bid on it um, resistance plus three we have resistance plus four on our slave slave item slave lord item so probably don't need that and these other ones we can't afford anyways uh, this one we can I guess the the Constitution uh, probably don't need this we have our plus five on our level eight item. So I'm just gonna bid on this one item, uh, couldn't hurt. The other ones are nice too, but uh, yeah, definitely check because I think this is what happens. Somebody goes through and this looks like two people, probably one person that did all these ones with buyouts and another that did all the ones with no no buyout. Uh, but yeah, this, this happens frequently where somebody's cleaning out their inventory and puts a lot of good stuff out there. And I checked the other items, didn't find anything interesting, but I wanted to show you that. All right, um, so we talk to this person. We, we say, yes, take me to Restless Isles. And much much like to get to the Slavers of the Shrieking Mines, we just we don't have to talk to this guy again. We just walk here and uh, go in the wilderness. And this one's a lot easier to explain the DDO wiki. You want to pull up the DDO wiki map that has lettered. Uh, and basically, we're, we're just going A through H. You know, direct path A through H. And um, I'm getting, with my human versatility boost and my open lock item, I'm getting um, success on a... 20 I've had some successes on an 18 but I mostly the 18 I think that's only with those two things so um, I've burned through a couple human versatility boosts failing on these on these uh, checks so I'm gonna go ahead and just pick up the keys along the way uh, but the DCs are much higher than they are in the quest the quest is, is not like that it's just this wilderness I think that's because they're really trying to they're really saying okay unless you have a really good lock pick you're not. You're gonna have to get the keys. All right, I'm gonna get out of the water here so I can actually fight. Let's see. It looks like Miranda took care of it for us. All right, fighters. I'm gonna switch my sword. Definitely need to pick up some uh, blindness immunity and poison potions because I'm using going through a lot of those. All right, and this is going to be the guide. Once we actually talk to the quest giver, we'll be able to come back and speak to him. All right, so we started on A on the map. All right, in the very beginning, and this first left is B. It takes us to B, I should say. So we're going to go here. And it indicates on the wiki that there's a key on this. Uh, so to get past, to get 
that bridge gate to open, and, and that's this way in all of these. We have to just, you know, we have to defeat all the enemies on this island. And one of them is going to drop the gate. There it is. And so we'll just have to kind of walk around to find the find whoever we're missing here. Oh no, the gate's open. Never mind. So we're on Island B, and we're going to walk over the bridge to Island C. And if you fall off here, uh, you won't feather fall and land in the water. You will die. This is just how it is. Pop so back. Or I should say, release and come back. So now we're on Island C. Uh, no indication of a key here. It should be uh, pretty much with this um, path. If we, if we take this straight shot, we should get enough keys to do it. On the other path, you have to go to that Island B, pick up a key, and then go back to the tunnel if you want to do it without picking lock. All right, so we're going to go down. We're on Island C. We're going to now take the tunnel. And this path goes quickly goes two directions. And following the map to go, we want to go north. We're just following the alphabet for this path, so it's a little easier on the map. And we're heading from we're heading towards D now. Uh, D is probably optional. Looks like it's optional for us, actually. So, but we're heading that direction. Alright, so here's the gate right in front of D that shows up on the map. So we'll use our key there instead of picking it. And then this is D, and I don't see any reason why we have to go there. There's no keys or anything. So we're just going to keep following, whoops, we're going to keep following north. Oh, here's another gate. This one, uh... Okay, good. This one opens up, so that's why it's not on the map as a gate, I guess. We don't have to get a key for it. Alright, it kind of, it's going to kind of bend around, and you can't see on here the map, you'll have to kind of sort of go from feel of it, but when you get here, that's E, right, and so you can go there to get a key, and because our open lock is, skill is just pretty borderline for this, we're going to go ahead and go here and get a key to E. So we skipped E, but we're going to go to E to get the key, because the map shows that someone on E is going to drop the key for us. And if we were patient, we could, if we're patient, we could probably pick the lock. But I'm going to show, I'm just showing you the sure way to do it. All right, let's see. Let's see, I'm going to use my cue. I didn't see the key. There it is. So I'm just going to use the cue to find it and then pick it up. It's kind of buried under all of that. Uh, I'm going to go back to the tunnel. And then coming out of E, you know, following the map, you have to go to this intersection and make a left and continue on towards F. Um, and that looks like it's just the chest. Probably an easier pick lock, but we're going to skip it to not confuse the issue. And then here's the, the gate that shows up on the on the way to, from E to F. Or, so that's now open. And then here's, this looks like another one where if we'll open, we'll be able to beat these ogres. There's quite a few of these in this wilderness. Alright, 
and there's a shrine there. Uh, we don't really need it. Um, do need a less, less restoration potion though. And we are gonna take this, which will take us to F. And so there's another guide. So whenever we're gonna have to, uh, oh, that's opens up. So let's go ahead and go there. Uh, it looks like there's a key here. Let's see if the key's here. We have to kind of backtrack. Track. Treasure bag. Let's see. Any key? No key. So we're gonna have to backtrack and find the uh, find whoever has a key. It could be that guy in the bridge, I suppose. Uh, but it might be here. And this is where the uh, quest is, by the way, the All right, treasure bag, I'm going to use the Q button, I don't think anything's in there, oh there it is, yep, couldn't see that without the Q, but then grab this key, you just hit QE if you have trouble ever picking up something in this game. Hit the uh, Q button to highlight it, and then the E button to take it. That's an alternative to clicking on it. If you're having trouble picking it up, which is sometimes the case. And uh, that that door is the way to the quest. We'll go back there momentarily. We're we're on we're on the bridge from F to Island G. We don't have to fight anything here, but I guess we can. Uh, no keys or anything, just just the fights. Oh, we see him because of our spot, and let's we can ignore that guy. I think. I guess we'll have to ignore these archers. Uh, I don't feel like wasting arrows on them. And we'll just go in here. And now we're, we're uh, leaving G and we're going to the tunnel that takes us from G to H. And so it's just a, looks like it's a straight shot on the map. This would appear to be a yeah, you know, a key. I think if you're just looking to explore, then you might um, go there. Oh, it says you need a key, so we don't want to waste a key on that. And that's another kind of either rare or explore. Alright, now we are going to Island H, and this is where the quest giver is. Be careful not to fall off that ledge. And much like the other one, we just have to sort of walk around until we can get up. I think if we keep walking around, it'll get a little easier to get up there, but you can, our jump skill is going to be good enough to get up there. Here we go. Um, all right, so we talked to Moltong. He is our quest giver. And again, we got these options. I guess we'll use Bluff. It's probably not good enough. And he will give us the quest. Uh, we might as well shrine here. Make sure the hireling's here. And so now we're on Island H on the DDO Wiki. We can, we can uh, do any repairs or anything we want here. Oh, I guess we have to, I guess they won't talk to us until we, uh, we actually complete the first quest. And 
So we go back to this underground. And now we're leaving H and going to the tunnel that, that goes from H to G. And the wilderness should be, should be clear. There shouldn't be any respawns. Well, uh, I take that back. Well, these must be eggs from these must be eggs from uh, last spiders that we didn't we didn't kill the eggs. So that's not really respawn. That's kind of typical. Whenever uh, maybe well maybe there is some respawns. I don't recall seeing them on the way. I don't think we skipped them. So that might be some respawns. All right. So now we're on to island G, and we need to take this bridge from G back to F. And F is where the quest is. It's in that kind of big complex there. And I just kind of uh, hold the arrow, up arrow, uh, or that would be the equivalent of the W, uh, and hold on my right mouse key or right mouse, so that I'm sort of moving in a straight line on the bridge and won't fall off. All right. So this is. We clear the outside. We're gonna have to clear, I think, the inside maybe. And so this is the quest, bring me to the head of Golafan. So that's the end of this video. I'm going to start another video to actually run the quests.